Okay. Matt Stafford, Matthew Stafford, excuse me. He doesn't like being called Matt. And Jared Goff going up against each other. We also have, of course, Mike McCarthy against the Packers. Ooh. Joe Flacco next round could be against the Ravens. Oh, storylines. Revenge games, my favorite thing in the NFL. Yeah. Buy, buy or sell revenge games are real for NFL players. They're real. Of course but they're real, but it's, I, I it's would more say than this. just one player. Like the Stafford situation in Detroit was like, it's probably not revenge for him yeah. because of how they parted ways. Like they gave him the opportunity to go well, to Rams. Oh. Okay. And he Sorry. wins a Super Bowl. So it's more of like the flip side. It's more of like a revenge game for Goff in that case. Yep. Yes. Well, so revenge needs to be classified a little bit here. You can, okay. it can be a revenge has different, the revenge game has different categories to it. Okay. So like you, like Matthew Stafford doesn't have to be seeking like retribution and, and like <laughs> and vengeance against the, the Lions well, for this to be, be, which is more. I think golf is honestly. A hundred percent. No, no, no. Prove to everyone. So like Baker. Mayfield playing the Panthers, that's or Baker Mayfield playing the Browns, that's a revenge game. Yeah, because you got oh, you sure. got shipped out. Golf be, playing yeah, the Rams, that's revenge, a revenge game. game. Yeah. Now Stafford still counts as a revenge game, but he's not like it's a different layer of revenge. I this, don't think it's really revenge. The game means more to him. He never line. played. This is his <laughs> first playoff game in Detroit, and he played there for twelve years. This game <laughs> means a ton to him. Uh, yeah, I, don't I think know. this means a lot because he's going back to the place that kind of made him a man. I mean, that's, be what I, that's what I mean. They'll yeah. be appreciative of him, right? Yeah, I sure. mean, I don't know. I, I, I see it different. I think I see it as a revenge that's, game for golf. Well, that's but what I'm telling you is that this, in hell this week, <laughs> this is a different level of revenge. It, it slots into the idea of the revenge game without being pure revenge. Look, I'm the revenge game guy. Don't look at me skeptically. <laughs> like I don't even come up with these. All right. But, oh, but Flacco, like Flacco is an interesting one too. If they yeah. win. Because you could make a case how things ended there at the end of his time in Baltimore. Like right. maybe he felt a little bit wronged by it and all that. So maybe that one kind of plays into your narrative. Uh, outside of that, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, the Dallas. If you if you were playing quarterback for the Houston Texans this week, Brady, would that be a revenge game? Yes or no? Uh, kind of. I mean, that's I what don't I'm saying. Know. Like you love the Browns. Cause, cause you grew up a Browns the, fan. The difference is the difference is is like. You know, it's a different ownership group, different general manager, like eight times over, different yeah. head coach, how many times over? Like, like honestly, like you don't have any ill will towards the place that drafted you. I know. And, and they, even true. even if they shipped you off, like yeah, they shipped you off, but that was a different coach, different general manager right. to handle that. So it just hits different. Like, of course you want to win. You want to win regardless of the storyline behind it. I just don't buy into it quite as much unless it's all like everything's still there. But you, and that's where I think it hits a little more home with Jared Goff because sure. of who he's playing, and then obviously who he's playing against in this case, like and who he's playing for in this. Or, case. or even I, even McCarthy, I can see him feeling the type of way just because. Yeah, of, like Mike, Mike McCarthy yeah. makes some sense there. Yeah. I think I think when you look at that, break down that matchup too. We're, I'm sure Big Mike wants to wants to you know slap a nice one on no the Packers. Yeah, and they like lost when, when Russ went yeah. back to yeah. when Russ went back to Seattle to start the season last year. That clear revenge game, and he fell short, flat on his face. Okay, he bet, well, yeah, they they lost and, that game. And same, same, right? Like, yeah. he had a lot of the same pieces were still there, obviously, in the yeah. front office, coaching staff, even some players. And so, yeah, that's what makes it, in my opinion. Correct. Pete, Pete Prisco says, he's like, revenge games are stupid. It's idiotic. It doesn't make any sense. No one gets more hyped up. You think they try harder? What do you think? They care more? I'm like, yes, they do yeah, care more. Yeah, they do. I'm here to yeah, tell they people do, Pete. That they, they actually do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, they, it's, it's just like when you when you play an old team. It's like you said, it just depends on the circumstance. Like, no breakup is amicable. Everybody always talks about taking this to relationships. Like, you know, it was an amicable breakup. Somebody's going to feel a way. One person's going to feel a way more than the other person, right? So, no matter what, like there's always a little bit of added incentive when you play your old team. Even if, you know, you decided it was free agency, you got more money somewhere else, you feel away because you're like, y'all didn't feel like I was worth this. So when I come here, I'm going to lay, I lay it on line every week. But it's just a little added incentive to beat you guys just because you guys decided not to pay me what this other team did.